Hello little lovelies, welcome back. So, this mother freaking tutorial, this is my third time filming this look. First time I filmed it, it looked like, it didn't look like shit, it looked boring as shit. And I was like, yeah, nah, mm -mm, mm -mm. we're not gonna put this out there. So, I sat down today to film it again, started my eye look and it just went to shit. So I had to take that off. That third time lucky we got there. So don't expect another silver makeup tutorial from me for a long, long, long time. But anyway, let's just jump into it. So I'm just gonna take my Precisely My Brow pencil from Benefit. This is in the shade number two. And I'm just gonna go in and fill them in. So I just like to fill in any sparse areas first. And just thicken the brow because my natural brows are quite fat, like thin as you can see here so I like to thicken it up I like to just flick little pencil strokes through the end of the brow here and then along the top here I'm just going to fill it in And then I take my 24 hour brow setter. I like to just comb these front bits up. So I do a little bit at a time and then just press it down. I've been doing this lately where I like put the product on and then just press the product in so it holds the hair in place. Okay, so I'm going in with this MAC eyeshadow. It's called Cork. It's just like a muted mid-tone brown. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So building this up nicely into the crease. And then I'm taking this warmer brown. This is called Brown Script. Again, it's from MAC, but as far as I know, this is discontinued. As MAC do with all their nicest things. But, yeah. I don't know why Mac does that. But I'm just gonna apply this into my crease as well. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Dior powder. This is the Mineral Nude Matte Powder in the shade number two. And I'm just lightly dusting this along my brow bone. This just helps soften the edge of the eyeshadow. Now I'm going into a dark brown this one is called Mystery. I'm just gonna apply this to my outer corner. Now I'm gonna take this Dior liquid eyeshadow. So we're gonna put this on the lid. And then taking my flat brush and just pressing the product down and just moving it around the lid. Then I'm going in with my Spellbinder shadow from MAC. This is the shade Stars Align. So I like to just put a base underneath this because I want to intensify the silver as much as possible. I'm gonna grab a little bit of black shadow just to blend this silver out here and give it a more smokier effect. I'm gonna take a little bit of this glitter adhesive from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just gonna pop some onto my finger and lightly press this across my lid. I'm gonna grab some of the glitter onto my brush and just press some of this on top. I just wanna add more dimension to the, the silver. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit of black eyeshadow on a little small shader brush and I'm just going to press this right along my top lash line. So I'm just going to pop my lashes on now. So I used my Ulla Henriksen Double CC Cream to hydrate my skin and then I used my Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. And I'm first going to go in with my glow drops just on my cheeks. So these are my Dior Glow Drops. 
And now I'm going in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Vin Vienna. This brush is a Morphe brush. There's no number on it. And now I'm taking my Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. This is the shade 2.1 and I'm just using the contour end. And we're gonna bronze this. I'll do my cheekbones and my jaw. And then I'll do a little bit around here to make it nice and bronzy. I'm just gonna blend this out with another Morphe brush. It's actually the same, it's the same collection. Just a little smaller version. And I'm just gonna take my Fenty Concealer. This is in the shade 200. And I'm just gonna do a little underneath my eyes. And the brush I'm using to blend this out is a Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki. So I just kind of like to pat my concealer in. I like a tap and drag kind of motion. So that keeps the coverage and then it helps just like buff it into the skin. And now I'm going in with my Hourglass Translucent Powder. First we're gonna set under my eyes. And we'll do down along my T-zone around my chin and I'm gonna warm up my skin with my Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer so I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury eye pencil it's the bedroom black one I'm gonna do the outer corner and then go about half of the way in so draw that half of the way in like this then take a little shader brush and I'm gonna blend this out and blend it right out into the corner so it blends with the top. And I'm gonna take some of the brown script shade and I'm gonna do this on the outer corner. I'm taking this Marc Jacobs pencil, it's called In The Buff. It's like this like champagne-y type of color. So I'm gonna put this in my waterline. So I'm gonna take this Sugar Pale eyeshadow, it's called Wink. And I'm just gonna spritz some Fix Plus onto my brush. And then I'm gonna go in and apply this to my inner corner. I'm gonna take my warm soul blush from MAC. So I'm just gonna pop this on my cheeks. And then into my NARS palette, I'm taking the lightest shade. This is their Star Scene palette. It's part of their latest holiday collection. I love this highlight so much. NARS kill it with their highlights, like so much. The highlights are always amazing. For my lips now, I'm taking my Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick from Too Faced. This is the shade Child Star. And I'm gonna pop this Dior Gloss on top. This is their Lip Maximizer. And that is my silver New Year's Eve look, which I will never film again. <laughs> I'm definitely happy I refilmed this silver look because this is more my style. The first time I did it, it was just so neat and just meh. You know, I looked at it, I was like, this is boring. I don't like it. So I'm glad I refilmed it because I feel like it's a little bit more my style, a little bit grungier. But anyway, I really, really, really hope you like this look because this makeup look tested my patience to the max. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.